With over 44% of the internet built on WordPress, it's safe to say you're making a good decision. Let's quickly go over just how easy it is to make a WordPress website from nothing. To get started, you'll need the basics, a domain and web hosting. You could purchase a domain from just about anywhere. Here's one of our posts where we talk about the five best domain name registrars. We personally like Namecheap and we'll leave a link to that in the description below. Now that you bought your domain, let's talk hosting. Good hosting providers will guarantee at least 99% uptime. They're gonna take care of security patches and updates. They're gonna provide freebies such as SSL, emails, backups, as well as staging sites. We have an entire post here where we talk about WordPress hosting and what you need to look for. One of our favorites is SiteGround, as you can see right here. Their startup plan is a great place to start. It comes with 10 gigabytes of storage and a slew of freebies, and you'll have everything you need to get started for less than $15 a month. And right now it's on sale, so it's even less than 15 a month. And based on our own testing, it's also the fastest WordPress hosting you can get. You could use our affiliate link in the description to help support our channel. We'll also have a link to this article if you wanna see the test that we ran. With those two things all set up, it's now time to install WordPress. There are countless ways to do this. Right here is our definitive guide on how to do it. And as you can see, there are many, many options. Each option on this blog has a video guide. So rather than show 15 different ways in this video, you can go here and find the option you prefer. And by the way, if you do go with SiteGround, they do have one click install, which makes it super, super easy. Once you are done though, you should see your brand new WordPress dashboard. Great job, because that's half the battle. So now that you're here, you are ready to go and choose your theme. A WordPress theme allows you to change how your website looks to visitors. You can customize the colors, layouts, fonts, and other design elements to match your branding or style. There are two different types of themes available, including free and premium themes. Free themes are available through the WordPress directory, whereas premium themes are offered by third-party developers like us, the makers of Divi. These themes usually provide excellent features such as no-code page builders, full site editing capabilities, and pre-made layouts. To view available free themes, we're gonna go to Appearance Themes and then press Add New. And here we go, 5,783 free themes available within WordPress. If you see one you like, you could simply press Install and that's it. On the other hand, if you purchase from a third party, you're probably going to have a backend like this and you're gonna have to download it that way. Once it's downloaded, you'll press upload theme. Then you'll attach the zip file you just downloaded. Then just press install now. And regardless if it was a free theme or a premium theme, once you press install, you now have to press activate. And there we go, it's now active. And as you can see, we have Divi documentation that goes in depth on literally everything you need to know. Now let's go ahead and create our pages. Most starter sites will consist of a home, about, services, blog, and contact page. To add these pages, hover on over pages and press add new. Go ahead and add the title and we're gonna press publish. Then we're gonna press add new page and repeat the process until we have all of our core pages created. And there we go, all of our pages are ready and created. I will say privacy policy and sample page are generated by default. You can either get rid of them or just keep them. The next step is to set up the navigation for our site. Let's start by setting up our homepage. To do that, navigate to settings, reading. Right here it says your homepage displays and we're going to select the radio button for a static page and we're going to select the page we just made called home. Our post page, we can set that to blog. Now just scroll down and hit save changes. Now let's set up the main navigation for the site. We're going to hover over appearance and click on menus. Now we're gonna create our first menu. I'm gonna give it a name, just primary, and I'm gonna select primary menu for the display location and press create menu. Now we're gonna go ahead and press view all under pages and we're going to select the pages we want to show up on our navigation bar and press add to menu and save menu. If we scroll back down, you could actually rearrange these just by dragging them so you could have them set up in any order you would like. Creating your homepage is the next and possibly most important step. The homepage serves as a window into your business's identity. It should reflect what your business is about along with supporting content. 
As a general rule, this is what most homepages include. When building your page, there are several ways to add content. You could use WordPress's default editor, Gutenberg, or a page builder like the Divi Builder. Since we chose Divi as our theme, we could add elements to our homepage using Divi's Visual Builder, a no-code front-end builder that allows you to view your design in real time. Divi offers more than 320 full layout packs with over 2,300 individual pages, making building your WordPress website a breeze. To showcase its ease, we'll walk you through importing a layout into your homepage using Divi. So head back over to the Pages tab, find your homepage, hover over it, and press Edit with Divi. We have three different options here, but for this use case, we're going to press Choose a Pre-Made Layout. I'm going to search for the Marketing Layout Pack, and I am going to use the homepage from that. Once selected, I could just press Use This Layout. And there it is. As you can see, I can hover over every single element here. I can press on the little gear icon. I can change the text. I could add animation. There's a whole bunch of things I can do. Now I just need to go through and adjust all of the text and images to however I would like, and then we can move on. By the way, if you'd like to learn everything there is to know about Divi, check out our extensive documentation. It contains more than 70 helpful Divi tutorials to aid in building your website. If you're not using Divi, you could use WordPress's native Gutenberg editor to add content. You could press this little plus icon right here and add whatever block you would like, such as rows, text, images, videos, and so on. And all you have to do is press that plus icon, choose here from the list, and then press it. They also have reusable blocks or block patterns that you could use throughout your website. But once you're done, regardless of which editor you have, just go ahead and update or publish your page. If you use a full site editing theme, you could customize headers and footers for your site. For example, you can create any number of custom templates using Divi's theme builder. Alternatively, a block theme such as Generate Press allows you to edit permanent sections of your site through full site editing. To create a new header or footer in Divi, navigate to Divi Theme Builder. Next, just press on Add Global Header, then select either Add from Library or Build Global Header. Once you're in here, you could use a pre-made header and footer pack, or you could use one of Divi's 200 modules to easily create a header or footer for your website. And there we go, I used one of the pre-made layouts. By the way, you can see each of our pages are set up here from earlier when we set up our navigation. Now that your content is in place, you should decide which plugins to use. Generally speaking, there are several essential WordPress plugins that you should include on your site to help with various aspects, including SEO, security, optimization, and caching. We've covered just about every type of plugin you can think of on our YouTube channel and our blog, including this post that shows off the 31 best WordPress plugins. So check that list out and decide which ones you wanna to add to your own site. The last and most exciting step in creating your WordPress website is taking it live. We've created a handy checklist for you to follow to ensure you don't miss anything. Feel free to pause the video and go through each item on this list. You can also find it in the blog post linked in the video description. And with that handled, you are all set and ready to go. Of course, it doesn't stop here. Managing your WordPress website is an ongoing job. You can always add more content, install new plugins, and of course, update the designs of your pages. If you felt like any step of this tutorial was too fast or there wasn't enough information, be sure to check out all the resources in the description below. We've covered everything extensively in separate blog posts, so you definitely can find what you need down below in the description. And if you use any of the affiliate links we have listed, just know we may earn a commission which helps support our channel and all of our ad free videos. Feel free to leave any questions you have in the comments below. And with that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.